And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Empires of the Undergrowth. And uh, yeah, we don't have any more any more things on the surface here that we need to worry about. So that's fine. Uh, all right, so let's look at the missions. We we did the gateway challenge. And now we have Rising Tide and Queen of the Hill. So Rising Tide looks like it introduces some bigger bugs plus water. Oh, water. Uh, we're going to do easy mode. I know everybody, everybody wants a little harder, but uh, I don't know anything about this level yet. So it's always, you know, always handy. Um, unit options. We could do mortar or rapid fire. Deals low damage on impact. Um, and this one deals high damage. But, you know, it's a mortar, so it takes a lot longer. And these are, I mean, these are bugs. So uh, let's see. We got, rap I'm going to try the rapid fire guys first. Um, let's, let's, let's dive in here. Ooh, look at that. There's a fish right there. Ooh. This Formica Rufa Wood Ant Queen has laid her first brood in a burrow near the sea. Her nest is just on the outskirts of the beach, the perfect vantage point for scavenging hapless morsels washed in by the tide. At the moment, the tide is out, but it won't stay that way. The ants must make haste and stockpile what they can, while they can. Hmm. We're gonna put some food up here. And let's look like there's really anything else up here. Of something. Ooh, we have a uh, wood ant worker, wood ant nursery tile, wood ant melee nursery tile. Oh, okay. I wonder what the nursery tile is for. 60 food to place. Wow. Wood ant nursery tile. Okay, I'm not sure what the difference is between the two. Obviously, the nursery tile. I'm not sure what that icon. Oh, that's the rapid fire, I bet. So, these guys here, melee. Uh, let's get a couple of you guys going. Let's check these. Wood ends can build workers in two types of soldiers. The first is a ranged attacker that fires acid from its abdomen. Based on your unit, unit choice from starting level, your ranged wood ants will either fire slowly with high damage or fast with low damage. Okay, that's that's that ant right there. Next one. The ranged wood ants have low health and will be cut through quickly unless they have support. The melee wood ant is a tank unit. Its damage is low, but its health is high. They are weak by themselves, but combined in equal parts with the ranged wood ants, um, they're, they're good. They're... They're, they're good. So let's get the ranged or the, the, the warriors out here. What do we have over here? Looks like some food, but I don't know what it is. Like a little, I don't know, something. Okay, we have. Looks like some enemies up here. And this 
This is our way out, but we got to be careful because, you know, we can get out, but other stuff can get in. So we got to be very, very, very cautious about that. Um, let's get another one of these guys down. Bunch of food, but some enemies over here, so we want to be careful. Let's get the, the warriors going here. We only have three of them? Ah, there are intruders in the nest. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. Don't tell me I lost already. Uh, let's let's check up top. That's going to take a while. Oh, these guys are coming at me. There is food to be found all over the beach, but the wood ants must be cautious and choose their trails carefully. Yeah, the we're going to lose. Frequent the higher ground, and they will make quick work of any wood ant that strays too close. Oh, I should have, I should have gotten. Must protect the queen. Yeah, we're going to need to restart. Sorry, folks. We're going to have to go through all that dialogue again. <laughs> this Formica Rufa wood ant queen has laid her first brood in a burrow near the sea. Her nest is just on the outskirts of the beach, the perfect vantage point for scavenging hapless morsels washed in by the tide. At the moment, the tide is out, but it won't stay that way. The ants must make haste and stockpile what they can, while they can. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support breaking numbers. All right, let's get some food. There we go. Um, should we have a like a small colony of workers? For foodstuffs. Small colony. I didn't mean colony. I meant little brood here. Um, so we can move this, these guys over here. And that way they'll come down and grab some food. And we can... go grab all of this food over here maybe increase this a little bit food is the big issue right away so let's get a couple more workers There we go. Now, let's grab the surface here. Since uh, we really don't want to bust into there until we have quite a lot of warriors. There is food to be found all over the beach. But the wood ants must be cautious and choose their trails carefully. Tiger beetles frequent the higher ground and they will make quick work of any wood ant that strays too close. Ooh, look at that. That is a big bug right there. Is that a another ant? That is. Those things are quick. Alright, 
We're pulling in some food. There's a bunch of food over here. You can see little crustacean things. The it's dangerous though. Looks like the tiger beetles. Uh, we may be safe for now. Should we? Do we dare go down and maybe grab some of that stuff? Uh, so I want four warrior bugs and you're gonna move to number two number one come down and grab those seeds A little bit of food. We got a, a couple warriors. But we're gonna be a little we're gonna need to be a little bit more daring. We're gonna need to come down here. We gotta watch we gotta watch the water though. The water does the water does come up. And threaten us. Okay, so you're going to come out here. You're going to go down there. Oh, yeah. That is not something we want to deal with. These random bug movements. Wigging me out here. Uh, hmm. How are we going to defend... 60 food to place. That is harsh. Something back here, but I don't think we have... Sixty food, just like that. How much to hatch? Six? Five to hatch, okay. Hatch, my pretty hatch. Now, should we go down here and maybe grab these two guys? Tide rises, okay. Soon the lower levels of the beach will be flooded. Any ants caught in the surge will be washed out to sea. Not to the sea. We'll see what happens to the food. Well, I, I kind of want to catch what this does. Oh, a lot of good food that was up here. All right, here we go. Oh, man. Just to see where this stuff ends. Okay, it doesn't come up very far, in fact. It's a lot less extreme than I thought it was. Hey, hey, that's my food. Where are you going with that? All right, let's do one, two, three. Actually, one, two, three. Actually, I should put this on two. The battle has begun. Get him. Hey, what? what? Dude. Dude. Oh, the tide rises again. Oh, crap. The water is rising quickly. The ants must head for higher ground.
Everybody, everybody back. Ah. Uh, okay. Is this guy gonna, is this guy gonna die? Okay. Cause he would be a, he would be a nice feast. Well, we got a little bit more food. That's a positive. Um, more warriors, maybe? One more? We have just enough to place and hatch one. Because I want to get down here. We got a little bit of food store down here. I'm thinking... Man, if the... The water comes all the way up here. We're going to be in trouble. Like, how high does the water come up? Survive night. We need to survive three. Yeah, I wonder how high the water comes up. So, yeah, we're going to... Tide's gonna rise again. The tide has almost reached its highest point. The sands east of the nest are about to be completely flooded. So that should take care of. Oh, these guys are all. How do you know the tide is coming, Mr. Ants? How do they know? Okay, well, we are, we have beachfront property now. I mean, yeah, we're the, we're, we're rich ants. The tide is in, and soon night will fall. As the temperature drops outside, nocturnal creatures begin to awaken. Uh-oh. It will be wise for the roofer colony to stay underground, and hope that their nest remains hidden until the morning. Okay, I didn't. I didn't think that was going to be a problem. <coughs> um, got some food back here, but two enemies. Got two enemies over here. What are we doing? Hermit crabs. Health gets slow. Oh, hermit over crabs. Around, nocturnal hermit crabs rule over the sands at night. These Holy. creatures are typically scavengers. Searching for algae and carrion on the beach, but due to the unusual incursion of Formica Rufa colonies into oh. this area, this particular community of crabs has developed a taste for ant flesh. Hmm, that's not a good thing. I don't like to hear that. So are they gonna? A hermit crab has found its way into the nest. The ants what? must mount a swift and decisive defense. Get it. Get it. This guy is just pounding on him. No, stop regenerating. That's not cool. Mr. Crab. That was not cool. Yes, get him, get him, get him, get him. All the food, yes, yes. Little chunks, yeah, we're having crap for dinner, everybody. Yes. All right. Oh, we are just chewing that guy up. Uh, let's uh, boost up. The workers have done all they can to improve these food stores. All right, we got the crab. So let's drop down a new uh, butt launcher and uh, okay. So we got our brood up here. 
Now, how much is it to upgrade your 20? 20. I want a little bit tougher brood. We got a, a bunch. Oh, another crab's coming in. Or not. No, oh, there he is. A group of hermit crabs have stormed the nest. The larvae must be protected. Um, nice. All right, we got two. We got two butt spinners now. Oh yeah, get them! Glorious. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Let's put a couple more warriors down. Oh, we don't have nearly the food for that. So, munch on some crab. All right, that crab is toast. Now, should we go up and just like target some crabs? That would not be a good, wise decision up here. There's probably... Hmm. That would be bad. I mean, the random one, sure. Random one would be fine. I kind of want to try... Well, if another crab comes in and we're in the middle of a battle down here, that would be kind of a bad bad thing um, we have two butt launchers I want to put well let's this is this is tough upgrade one of my warriors more hermit crabs have found the nest oh right right when I don't want it oh there's two of them this time Get them, butt launchers. Get them. That just does not look right. Now you're hiding. Okay. Boy, they can regenerate health pretty fast, can't they? Get them. All right. Next. Hermit crabs. Come on. Join the fight. All right, we got 220 food from all those guys. I'm liking it. Let's uh let's rapidly increase the amount of food that we can store, so we're going to be good. I want to get a good idea of how much we have to work with and then uh, let's get another butt launcher and are those guys already chewed through wow that did not take long did it maybe one more one more and one more warrior I would like to upgrade that guy, but we don't nearly have as enough to do that. So, six warriors, four launchers. Okay. Six warriors, four launchers. Are we going to get attacked again? All right. Day dawns. The hunters of the night return to the safety of the shadows, and the ants can begin to lay down new trails. The harvest must go on. Yes. Oh, man, these hermit crabs are heading home. 
But these, why don't these beetles? These beetles don't like crab. Well, that's there are not cool. Out here. They have also come to take advantage of the buffet provided by the sea. Territorial disputes will invariably favor the colony with the greater numbers. Well, I, I don't mind having greater numbers, but I don't really have the wherewithal to take on one of these huge beetles. I would like a lot of this food, though. All right. How much is it to hatch these smaller guys? I mean, I really don't have a whole lot of these guys, but I'd like to blitz blitz hit these. Yes, bring in all of the food, please. Hey, hey, none of that. What is going on here? Well, it's an ant eat ant world out there, isn't it? Okay. I guess they're going to leave me alone. Okay, how about... How come this bug is not bothering these other ants, huh? Why? It's hungry enough. Oh no! No! The ants have been spotted by Chichindala dorsalis, the beach tiger beetle. With its long slender legs, it's the king of speed on these intertidal flats. Its wide carving jaws will slice effortlessly through squads of wood ants. There we go. It's going to take a monumental unified effort to bring this beast down. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about. We got ourselves a big bug. A beetle, whatever it was called. Yes. That's what I'm talking about right there. We got some more miscellaneous, I don't know what those are, little plankton shrimp things. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, this bug's getting a little close. I don't know if I want to deal with him yet. We got quite a lot of food, so let's, let's build up our brood. One, two, three, four. And then the butt butt launchers. Let's get a couple more of those. Okay. Now, where do we want to go for food? I think we want to go over and raid this area over here. So we're going to have two come up here, and then one come up here. I want to make sure number two is not set on food. I only want number one to come up with food. Come on. Oh, there's some tough there's some tough cookies up there. So let's bring two up here, one over here. Oh, it's a battlefield. That's right, it's a battlefield.
All right. So, uh, two can come over here. Get him. Get him. That's right. Oh, look at this. Look at this area up here. Um, I gotta, I gotta go manage my ant brood over here too. And upgrade you, and you, and you. And we got battles going on over here. Um, all right, let's get number two up here. Clearing this area. It's our front line. Number one. Our food gatherers need to go over here. All of the food. Get them. Get them. All right. Well, that's going to have to do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.